Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. This is Steven with Pier Landscaping. So a lot of you guys who are uh, interested in my light bar, the Abrams uh, 48 inch Thunder Eye. They do make smaller versions, but this is the large one for my, my Ford uh, F-250 Super Duty. I wanted to make sure I got a full size light bar just because of the size of the truck. So today I'm doing LED replacements. Um, I'm gonna show you how to take it apart and replace it and put it back together. So you're gonna have uh, one screw here, one screw here. Uh, same with the direct underneath, there's gonna be a screw there and one on the other side. Um, these are the screws right here. I took them out just to save some time. So what you do is you take those four screws out, one on top here, one on top there, one under there, one under there, and you take this off. So the end cap comes off. This now exposes your three wires for your three LEDs that are on the, the outside. If you have to go further into the light, which you probably will because they all, all the lights connect inside the top here, what you do is there will be um, two screws, one here, one here, one screw here, one screw here. Uh, just to speed it up, I actually took them apart already. So you're gonna remove the screws like so, and you're gonna pull this black piece off. That piece is actually for uh, weather stripping. It keeps the LEDs and control module inside. It keeps it nice and dry. Once you do that, you're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. I already did. And this top panel slides off. It's a very well-made light bar. It's nice and tight. Water will not get inside. It's waterproofed. So you could take your top and you can put it aside. So now let's take a look. So here's all the wires that are inside. Here is the module that makes the controller basically that makes everything work. And here's all your lights. Check with your local laws prior to uh, purchasing your light bar. I made that mistake. Uh, I ordered uh, yellow, the amber and white, and I assume that I can run that in my state, but apparently white is illegal to do unless you have proper permits. So I'm going to do some replacements, and I'll show you guys how. Okay, so here's the light bar. I have the white here, amber, 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 and white, and amber. Sorry for the flashing, but I want to really show you guys what we're doing here. So this white right here, we're gonna change out to amber right now. Each LED module, which is four LEDs in each module, right in here, there's gonna be a Phillips head screw. On the other side, another Phillips head screw. We're gonna remove those. I'm gonna use a drill. I don't recommend you do this, but I'm gonna do it just to save some time. And you wanna go nice and gently You could see we unscrewed it and there's these little retainer clips right here. We're gonna take these out. There's another one on this side that we're gonna remove. So here is the other clip that holds the Phillips head screw right here. We're gonna take the the white LED out coming up here we're gonna locate the wire okay so here's the the wire you're going to squeeze these two tabs and you are going to squeeze this one and pull it apart as you can see the LED is off. You're going to want to carefully route the clip through the holes in the light bar. Normally this is very easy. I'm doing it on top of my truck and I'm having a little bit of a hard time just seeing and reaching everything. But if this was on a table or a workbench, it would be much easier. So let me just move the clip carefully because I don't want to break it. So there we go. There's the housing. Here is the old white 
LED module. I'm gonna replace it with this one, which is amber. And I will show you guys that. So you're gonna route this clip through the hole in the back, carefully pull the wire and attach them. And they can only go on one way. So be sure that you're putting it on correctly. Uh, see what I did there? That was my old one. So you got to keep track of your stuff because I just put my old white one back in again. So you take it out. Here we go. Here's the one that I was trying to put in. Oh, I see it's actually labeled right there. There's a yellow sticker. That means it's yellow. See, you learn something every day. So I'm going to route this through the hole. We're gonna come up here. We're gonna make our connection. Make sure it's the proper way before you press it in and damage it. It looks like the connections have some kind of uh, grease in there. So it's a, sil a silicone or some kind of grease uh, that protects them from corrosion in case anything does get in there, any water. So we're gonna line up here to click. It's in place. Now there is our yellow LED module. We are gonna put the module back in place. It's a nice tight fit. We have the retainer clip with the screw. It only goes on one way. It's uh, pretty, pretty obvious which way it goes on because it's got arrows on it. So we will put that in here come over here put this one in here make sure everything's good all right now we just have to tighten the screws so I'm gonna do it with a drill I don't recommend you do this with a drill because you're screwing into aluminum and you don't want to pull the threads out and strip the hole but I'm being very careful there we go it's nice and tight so that's how you replace the modules and here's all the clips.